In design, you try and solve a big problem. And there's many facets to those problems. And so you start with what you know and what you know you can do. So the more I realize how many cigarette butts are everywhere, to find out that it's the most littered item in the world, we can't unlearn those things. Environmental studies have found an estimated 1.7 billion pounds of cigarette butts end up as toxic trash each year. And tonight's story is about the environmental damage cigarette butts have on local beaches. Gabrielle Mays joins us now with more. Gabrielle? Good evening, Greg, and everyone at home. I talk of the So my name is Taylor Lane and I'm the creator of the Cigarette Surfboard. We take cigarette butts picked up off the beach in California and turn them into functional surf craft. I like to solve problems. Graduated with a degree in industrial design and found out about this contest that uh, Visla and Surfrider was holding. And that was to prompt people to make article of surf craft out of upcycled materials. And so I picked cigarette butts and lo and behold, you know, Siggy board came to life. I'm gonna make a little pile over here, Isley, of stuff that I'm pulling out. All right. Oh, how's this red one? Like, the sun has degraded that to white. It used to be red. So eventually, I've seen it to the point where the paper fully degrades and you're just left with the plastic filter. And obviously, plastic doesn't degrade, just right. will. All of our cigarette butts come off the beach. Um, we've gotten those from across California. From that point, they come here and we go through sort of a purification process. We sort of flatten them down and we can make artwork into them. We work with professional surfboard shapers. We pick a design together and they shape the foam. So once we have that piece, we can lay the artwork onto the board. And then from there, it's, you know, a mixture of our own process and traditional processes. And then it pretty much becomes a, a functional piece of surf craft. So we entered the Siggy board and uh, it ended up taking first place at the contest and you know news of it went pretty viral. Everyone's got their own individual reaction to the board. We've got messages where it's like, hey, I've got 20,000 cigarette butts in Australia, I'm ready to send you. I've had other people say like, I quit smoking because I saw this board in your story. So you take this negative thing that came from the beach and then you turn it into a positive thing that's back at the beach. And the process was through design and art and you know engineering and, and creative thinking. The board is designed to prompt the conversation. It's not a solution to the problem. It's to show that this is something we should talk about. And then it becomes, what, what can we do? There's a wilderness out there that we as surfers understand. And we can't expect other people to do things about it if we aren't. I think if this project's made me realize anything, it's the accumulative action of, of small 
things. Each one of these cigarette butts was deliberately flicked by someone, but each one was also picked up by someone. We've designed these problems. There's no reason we can't design our way out. Thank you.